The ancient peoples of Alula lived in harmony with nature and its most powerful force, the sun. They deeply understood effective regenerative practices inspired by natural systems using the sun and seasons to manage agriculture and groundwater to heat their baths. Historically, the Tantora sundial was used to inform farmers on the start of the agricultural season. Today, the Royal Commission for Alula is taking inspiration from its ancestors, capitalizing on the abundant resource of the sun as it harmoniously develops Alula's natural and cultural heritage, creating a destination like no other with abundant resources to support human and environmental health, contributing to Alula's goal of carbon neutrality and in support of Saudi Arabia's National Renewable Energy Program. Al Ula's solar energy plan will integrate renewable energy and electricity generation from Saudi Electricity Company, maintaining the security and adequacy of power supply and upgrading the existing electrical infrastructure to be more reliable and renewable. Additionally, surplus power from renewable energy resources will be exported to Saudi Electricity Company's grid, creating a circle of renewable power and avoiding energy waste. By 2035, Alula will be home to two solar energy hubs with associated battery farms in North and South Alula, with development rolled out in a phased approach. The initial phase will see a capacity of 200 megawatts of solar energy, which will grow to a minimum capacity of 750 megawatts. The final phase will have one gigawatt of installed capacity by 2035 and reduce emissions by 2.5 million tons a year enhancing Alula's carbon neutrality ambitions. Living things thrive on clean and renewable energy from the sun, and Alula's modern society can too.